Lately on this space and of this space on YouTube and so many other places, I've been seeing a whole lot of women talking about their ex-partners and the tone of being a narcissist. And it's really, really a fortunate event. But then I listened to some stories intently and I noticed that a lot of people do not even understand what the word being a narcissist means. And they label their partners or their ex-partners narcissist. The story many of you actually share and call your partners narcissist doesn't in any way match up or even define your partners to be narcissist. Now, if you don't know who a narcissist is and you've never made an attempt to research about it, I must say that you've actually done the wrong thing to label your ex-partner or your partner a narcissist because it is not so much a good word to use on people unless they deserve to be called that. Yes. Now, I notice that people confuse being confident and having a sense of self-worth to being a narcissist. That is wrong. The reason why I'm here is to correct that very impression. Now I'm going to give you guys six or five traits that is going to correct that impression you are having about people being narcissists. One particular trait people usually get confused about or mistake to being a narcissistic behavior is confidence. Please, for the sake of knowledge, confidence and narcissism shares no comparing ground. True confidence is actually rooted in a healthy sense of self-worth, which is actually characterized by assertiveness self-assurance and respect for others however what that looks like confidence which is actually the narcissistic trait is arrogance this is where they belittle you and make you feel like you're nothing simply because of their perceived sense of superiority that's all that's one number two is ambition healthy ambition involves setting and pursuing goals that involves respecting others and their boundaries but what that looks like a narcissistic trait there is ruthlessness now narcissists also have goals and objectives that they want to achieve the difference between a narcissist and somebody who is actually nothing close to being a narcissist is that a narcissist is ready to exploit you to achieve their goal a narcissist is ready to achieve their goals at all costs disregarding moral and ethical considerations number three assertiveness now assertive individuals can actually communicate their feelings their opinions respectfully to their partners without being a threat to the relationship or the marriage now the narcissistic trait that looks like being assertive is domineering behavior now a domineering person wants to communicate as well but they want you to understand that they're in charge and they want to assert that dominance in their relationship through opinions through communications what have you they would use aggressive or manipulative tactics to assert dominance in that relationship so that you fear them. Number four, self-care. Self-care often takes the shape of being self-centered. Sometimes it looks as though you're actually selfish because it has to do with yourself. You often get absorbed by you and get consumed by you. It often looks as though you're actually putting the other person aside to take care of yourself. Now, the trait that looks like self-care that is actually narcissistic behavior is self-centeredness. Now, narcissists always prioritize their needs and desires above every other person, disregarding the feelings of the person that is actually with them. They may exploit others, manipulate others just to fulfill and have their own desire come to them without considering the consequences or whatsoever. That is a narcissistic person for you. Number five, certain boundaries. Now, when I say certain boundaries, a lot of you will actually misunderstand me by saying, no, we don't have to set boundaries in relationships and marriage. Hello? Hi. When I mean certain boundaries, I don't necessarily mean that you have to start um, being so private with yourself and you don't have to involve your partner and all that. No. What I mean by certain boundaries, I mean certain healthy boundaries that leads to healthy relationships and a long-lasting friendship. Now, the narcissistic trait that looks exactly like certain boundaries is manipulative control. Now, narcissists may use this very tool, certain boundaries to control or to assert control or authority in their relationships or wherever they find themselves because it looks like a tool for control. They use it as a manipulative tool to control you to assert dominance in that relationship. So unless you see all these traits that I listed in your partner or in your ex-partner, you have no right to label the person a narcissist. Please, it's a very strong word. Unless you see them possess this very trait that I explained to you right now, they are nowhere close to being narcissists. There are a lot of people's stories online here, and it has nothing to do with being a narcissist or narcissism. That your ex-boyfriend or your ex-husband cheated on you, he's not a narcissist. It's actually a wrong thing, but it is not a narcissistic behavior. That your boyfriend has refused to give you money for her, and all whatever you asked of him, he is not a narcissist. That your ex-husband or your ex-boyfriend loves spending time with his guys, he is not a narcissist. That your ex-husband or your boyfriend doesn't like clingy women, he is not a narcissist. That your ex-husband or your ex-boyfriend or your current boyfriend has refused to wash plates at home, he is not a narcissist. 
that your ex-husband or your ex-boyfriend or your current boyfriend shouts at you when you do the wrong thing he is not a narcissist being a narcissist is much more than having self-esteem and being confident it is actually a psychological condition that is actually a threat to others and it is only best you distinguish it properly and don't confuse it with personality traits